when you're in the semis against um the red deck killer here, Wapla, he's playing um playing like like an artifact white aggro deck. Um he's got a lot of stuff, so let's just see what happens. I want to die roll, that's really strong in that. Um I'm gonna keep. This hand's really good. <laughs> got a bunch of removal spells and hard to lock creatures. Um, and these creature matchups, I mean, you just want a bunch of removal spells. But something the uh, the subpar red decks don't really have a lot of. I have 16. See, like, that's just gonna die. Like, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna attack into it. Actually, okay, now I will, I definitely will not attack into it. Play this one drop. Tackler is great. Attack here. Um, I definitely want a Searing Spirit of this guy. And I'll offer the trade with the uh, Village Messenger. I don't think he takes it. I honestly don't think he'll take it. Like, he's probably gonna play like a Bygone Bishop or whatever, which I'm going to Flame Javelin. Or a Glory Mount. That's super gonna die. So he's never blocking. Okay, he's an attack either. It's interesting. It's always weird when like they don't block and um they don't attack either. Like it's like what was your what was your intention there? Okay, now he does take the block. Does he take a third land? It's, that's rough. He probably has a bunch of three drops he wants to play. Okay. Double Ash Zealots. Go, boys. Girls. Back with all your might. He's always watched where he takes. That's true. Bygone Bishop, here we go. Any burn spell will just pretty much kill my opponent. This is pretty good. Alright, jam time. Okay, jam my creatures. Like, he blocks something, sure. He goes to the one, and then. I have a lot of good attacks. I have a very good attack, and if I just draw a land, the Remnant Wounds kills. Alright. Alright, so sideboard, I don't like creatures at all. <laughs> I might just take out all the creatures. I like scrolls, I like my ambushes, I like my spaces. I like the flames. I don't like any of the one drops. Though it could play some. But I really don't like any of them. Stormblood is a little worse, too. Stormblood does kind of get a lot worse when you don't play a ton of one drops. Um. But I don't know. I just, it's just fine, probably, this is a random menace, dude. I wish I had more one drop burn spells. That's my only thing. I thought about playing like Fiery Impulse in the Fire Ambush slot, but I like just going to the face at worst. So and there's no other spell. There's like Shock. I could play Literal Shock uh, instead of uh, alongside Burst Lightning, but I don't know if that's worth it. I, li I like to deal three damage. It's especially good in the mirror match. Like dealing three kills things like uh, basically Stormblood, which is like a really big, a really big part of that matchup. My opinion. Stormblood are like kind of like getting bigger uh stronger nobles. I think like dealing through damage is really important. Uh 
Oh, I like this hit a lot. I'm gonna keep it. I'd like to not see a one drop. Aw. Uh. I'm just gonna play the scroll out. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure, I didn't. Um. Just pass. See what happens. Ugh, he says. This is land drop. I kill this now so I don't take the damage. Cool. I definitely missed the land drop. I just went uh in the chat. Please play a glory bound. Aw. Oh well. It's this three for one here. Arc lightning. Sick. Yep, there's the always watching. Okay, right, let's, let's, let's let's do attacking. Double always watching. Jeez, thank God I had that thing. Thank God I had that arc lightning. This is a two, a three five or something like that, a four five. All right, I'm gonna dome him for four here, then upkeep searing spear this, upkeep scroll searing spear. Four fives are hard to deal with. As long as he draws like a non flyer, I'm pretty good. If he draws a glory bond initiate, that's bad because I don't have a six land to double scroll him. Unless I draw a land right here. All right, another bishop, okay. Um, I guess I make the same play. I think I just went to his face. I think this is smarter. I don't want to keep the bishop on play. I think it's like... I think it's like asking for something terrible to happen. Man, Curse of Scrolls are pretty great. Luckily, I drew the only two I have in my deck. I mean, he also did miss a land drop. I mean, that kind of sucks. I think it hits a land drop there in that turn three. Then he, like, he he's immune to that arc lightning. Right? That that would have sucked. That would have sucked if we played the arc, uh, the, the thingy. 
if you had the uh, the third land for the always watching, that would have been really hard to beat. All right, that's big. Yeah, instead I killed two things. Okay, attack. And then play the Stormblood. I'd rather have the Stormblood than play right now. This way you can't really actually attack. He has no profitable way of attacking. Parallax wave. Fire cruiser. Cruiser I can deal with. Actually not. They have oh they have vigilance. That's pretty good. I would block the, the lone missionary. I would super block this lone missionary. Okay. Hmm. Oh, he's just dead. I know I thought for a second. <laughs> I was like, hmm, wait a minute. No, he just died to the flyers. <laughs> I was like, I can kill this thing and then it'll crew. I don't do this. Good old volcanic hammer. Yeah, he missed some land drops. That really sucked though, but you can't you can't skip a beat in this matchup. You really just that's that's what happens. Red deck will just punish you if you just you know, you miss you miss one tiny step. You have a little misstep and then you die. Yeah. 